Well, great friend, peer, and colleague of Regis Philbin is Larry King, and most importantly, friend. Larry, sad news that Regis is gone, and when you think about Reg, what jumps out at you? The kindest, happiest, kind of funniest person I know. I know no one who disliked him. No one. I have so many memories of Regis. We spent so much time together on and off the air. He took me to Notre Dame, you know, he loved Notre Dame. Yeah. And one weekend I went out as his guest. We walked the stadium. He loved Notre Dame so much, he, he called it his, he said, Notre Dame feels like heaven and he's gonna be buried there. He was as good a guest as he was a host. We would sing songs back and forth together. It was just such fun to be with him. He was self-deprecating. He, whenever he got on my show, he would all say, Altoona, hello making fun of my, my radio show. This is something not, in fact, nobody knows this. Robert Smigel, right. He came to meet Regis and I in New York with an idea that didn't come off <laughs> in which Regis and I would live together at <laughs> our ages, 80 and 82, in a, rever a version of the odd couple. He lived a wonderful 88 years. Uh, I'm 86 years old. I'll take another two. Um, he had a wonderful wife, great daughters. He loved the city of New York, but nothing compared to his love for Notre Dame. Yeah. He's got a, a whole street there named after him. And I, I, there's no prouder place that he would be than to be spend eternity at Notre Dame. I'm, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss his jovialness i'm going to miss his greeting anytime he, he, whenever he saw me he would do altoona hello and lobbies of hotels altoona hello he was a he was a good man thank you for watching if you want more extra hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video